boys, let's get this started properly. We've got a flat Nike ball. The dogs had this one. Just to kick this one off, if this one hits the crossbar, the vid's gonna be lit and you've got to like and subscribe as well. Severe pride. boys hope everyone's good it's your boy severe prod in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cook up a hard drill beat and we're just going to be using nexus for this one this one's going to be lit as always make sure you stay tuned and if you're new around here and you like this type of content what are you guys doing man come and join the family hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well anyway enough talking come and join me on my screen and let's get straight into the cook up damn severe that's crazy Welcome to the video. Like I say, today we're going for a one plug-in drill beat and the VST we're using, we're going to be using Nexus. Nexus is quite a well-known plug-in and it holds some real clean sounds too. As always, I'm going to be giving you guys some real nice tips and tricks, especially when it comes to the drums. But let's waste no time, we're going to jump straight into this one. You know the vibe, I've cut up three melodies off camera. What we're going to do, I'm going to run through these melodies one by one and I'll show you what we're working with. For the first melody, we actually jumped into the piano folder and ended up using the Nexus Grand Piano preset. For the effects, I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, it actually dipped a few of the low mids and mids. And we've also got this vintage Valhalla reverb. I've got the mix turned down to around 26%. For this beat, we're working in 142 BPM and I'm over in F minor. This is the pattern that we came up with. For the second melody, however, this time I went over and grabbed the Arena Ambience preset. For the effects, I've just got this half time. Once again, I've got another EQ taking out some lows and highs, dipping a few of the mids. And I've got another instance of Vintage Valhalla Reverb. This time I've only got the mix turned down to around 7%. Fairly basic pattern. This is what we came up with for that. And for the final melody, I jumped straight into the classical folder and I went over and grabbed this soft orchestra preset. For the effects, I've got this gross beat, which plays a half beat gate. I've got an EQ taking out some lows and highs, once again, dipping a few of the low mids. And similar to the last, I've got another vintage Valhalla reverb. This time I've got the mix turned down to around 30%. Once again, real simple pattern, but this is what we came up with. Now this is all three patterns that we came up with played together. That's sounding nice. What we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna waste no time. We're gonna start adding in some drums. So first off, I'm gonna start with a hi-hat. You know the vibe, we're going straight into the Vortex kit. I'm gonna head over to the MIDI kit and we're just gonna speed this one up a little bit. That's sounding clean. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to start layering in some percussion. So I'm going to grab a few snares, a few perks, and we're just going to get the bounce going. So let's see what we can come up with.
So we've got a nice little bounce on the go. I've kept it fairly simple. We've got a clap laid with the main snare and we've actually got quite a few different perks and snares filling up certain pockets as well. What this does is just fills up some of the empty spaces in the beat and basically it just adds to the bounce even more. So this is the pattern that we have so far. Ooh, that is sounding nasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to waste no time once again. We're going to get straight into the 808. <laughs> yeah, boy. Ooh, that is sounding tasty. What we're going to do now, I'm just going to add in a kick and we're going to make the 808 Ooh. punch a little bit harder. Is sounding lit what we're gonna do now i'm just gonna right click the pattern split by channel and we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna rearrange this into a full beat so we've got a nice little bit of structure on the go i've added in a few different effects out of my kit and what this does is just lets a listener know that there's something new about to come in at the end of the bar we've also got these little beat cutouts here and there as well this just adds to the tension of the beat and basically just stops the track sounding so repetitive as it goes on and finally i've added in my tag in there too and i think that pretty much tops it off for this one so i think all that's left to do now is just have a quick listen Severe pride. Hey, <laughs> nice little breakdown, and then straight back in. This one is sounding too sick. I'm liking the sound of this one. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and you're feeling the beat as well. I'm gonna go ahead, finish off mixing. I'm mastering this beat now, but if you haven't already, make sure you follow my Instagram at Severe Prod to keep update with all the upcoming videos and giveaways that I have coming out soon. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.